welcome to Full Point, the Cebu Sports Show. I'm Nimrod Quinones and this is our comeback episode. We've been off the air for a few months, but then uh, here I am, I'm back on my TV. And uh, well, to make this more significant uh, for this comeback episode, I have invited no less than a fellow athlete, fellow sportsman, fellow sports columnist, fellow many things, a fellow sporting dad also. And then my guest for today is John Pahes. John, good day. Nim, thank you so much for having me in your show. Yeah, so, uh, well, John, you know, we often bump into each other in the many places we go to together, many events we cover together, and the many things that we do for our children. But, uh, <laughs> well, today, let's talk about, recently we hosted another Davis Cup tie. And then, yeah. you, you know, a lot of people know about the Davis Cup. They, they say that, you know, the Davis Cup, is the tournament of the different countries. It's like the World Cup in terms of football for tennis. Correct. Yeah. So, uh, can you please educate our audience a little more about the Davis Cup? Okay. Name the Davis Cup is actually the world's largest annual team sports competition. Mm -hmm. it not, start not just for tennis, but not just for team tennis. competition. Yes. It uh -huh. uh, started over a a hundred years ago okay. and it involves over a hundred countries. Mm -hmm. In fact, the very interesting uh, point with the Davis Cup is Davis uh, comes from Dwight Davis. Mm -hmm. And back when the U.S. Uh, was ruling the Philippines, mm -hmm. no less than the Governor General of the Philippines was Dwight Davis himself. Ah, okay. So, so he actually led the Philippines and uh -huh. later on went back to the U.S. Mm -hmm. Being a very big tennis fan, he mm -hmm. founded the Davis Cup, which started between the U.K. and America mm -hmm. and evolved into what it is right now, which involves all the countries mm -hmm. competing against each other in tennis. Okay, but the Davis Cup is strictly a men's tennis competition. Yes, for mm -hmm. the ladies, we have what we call the Fed Cup. Uh -huh. But for the okay. men, it's purely Davis Cup. Okay, uh, the last one that we hosted, which was the Philippines against Syria, it was a Group 2 tie. Yes. So, uh, how do you go to Group 1, Group 2, or... How many groups are there? Well, at the very top level is what we call the world group. So okay. that consists of the 16 best uh, tennis playing mm -hmm. countries in the world. Of course, Spain, Spain. U.S. Yeah. Last year, Australia. it was Australia. Mm -hmm. It was won by the Czech uh, Republic. Mm -hmm. So next to that would be the group one. Mm -hmm. uh, the first two Davis Cup events that we hosted in Cebu mm -hmm. were actually group one events. So okay, second you, year. Yes, so uh -huh. we played against Japan first and okay. then we met uh, Chinese Taipei, very close ties. Had uh -huh. we won those ties, we would have been elevated to the world group mm -hmm. and probably even had a Nadal here okay. uh, in, in Cebu. Yeah, wow. That's uh, something to look forward to. So, we were relegated to group two after yes. we lost those uh, group one matches. Yes, when we lost uh -huh. to Taiwan, mm -hmm. so we moved to group two where we are right now. So. Okay. This year, we're in Group 2. If we win, so far we've won against Syria. Mm -hmm. If we win the next two ties, hopefully here mm -hmm. in the Philippines, mm -hmm. then we get the chance to go back to Group 1. Okay, so how many teams are there in Group 1? Well, different countries, different mm. areas. Like okay. we're part of the Asia Oceana. Okay. So Asian countries and then uh, Australia. Australia. There's Europe. Mm -hmm. There's America. So these are divided into into continents. Okay. So of course more slots for European countries, for example, right. because they've got uh -huh. stronger countries compared to, for example, Asia. Uh huh. Well, we already hosted three Davis Cup ties, and then uh, well, I'm sure the Cebuanos have enjoyed watching uh, this caliber of tennis, which we never really had a chance to watch before. Although we had uh, a few uh, tournaments we're in, we have the big names of Philippine tennis, but this time we are up against uh, players from other countries, yes. the best of their country. Yes. So, uh, well, why Cebu? Well, Cebu, they really love, first of all, we're holding it. We've held it at the Plantation Bay mm -hmm. Resort and Spa, That's right. which is really one of not only the Philippines, but Asia's best. That's right. So when Japan mm -hmm. held it here, there was uh -huh. such a good feedback uh -huh. from everyone, from the uh -huh. players to the ITF officials. Mm -hmm. They wanted to bring it back here. So we had Taiwan and then uh -huh. we just finally, after losing two times, we finally won in Syria. So I think Plantation mm -hmm. Bay has a lot to do with it. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, Cebu being being more receptive, the crowd support here uh -huh. probably louder than in Manila. So that's uh -huh. why 
Cebu was chosen to to mm -hmm. host for the third time. How do you make it to the country's team mm -hmm. for the Davis Cup? So how are you selected? Well, uh, there's a group who selects led by Randy Villanueva and the mm -hmm. Philippine Tennis Association. Of course, a big part of it would be your ranking. Mm -hmm. If you're highly ranked, very good mm -hmm. chance that you'll compete. The results that you've had in the past few months would also be one of the key factors for mm -hmm. them to choose. So basically, four players mm -hmm. are involved uh, because Davis Cup format is two singles, one doubles, and two singles. Okay, so the first team that wins three matches wins the tie. Correct. Three out of okay. three out of five. So a match is called a tie, or, or the the whole event is called a tie. The whole event is called a tie, uh -huh. and then there, in a way there are five matches. Mm -hmm. So against Syria, we won the first three, mm -hmm. so we won it right away. Mm -hmm. Although we lost the last two, yeah, but we we won it. Uh huh. So uh, well, uh, the Davis Cup has actually gotten a lot of people interested in tennis, and uh, I think uh, when I go to Plantation Bay to watch the games, I do see a lot of people even non-tennis players mm. who go there just to watch our Philippine team play, mm. to cheer for the Philippine team. So uh, what has it done so far to promote tennis in Cebu? Mm -hmm. Well, we had a lot of uh, youth, a lot of mm -hmm. age group uh, junior players mm -hmm. who watched. And uh, some of them were even ball kids. Uh -huh. And I think this gives them, everybody, an opportunity to really see up close mm -hmm. world-class tennis because mm -hmm. otherwise we would just be watching on TV. Yeah. But here they are uh, right before our eyes. So this really inspires also the youth. Well, it has been a very interesting discussion so far with John Pajas about the Davis Cup and about tennis. We'll be back after this break.